Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, I have a Brad taste in music, and today I'm going to be reacting to the new Muse album titled Will of the People. <sighs> Singles for this thing kind of sucked ass. Will of the People is one of the worst songs I've heard all year, sounding like literal Trucktober advertisement music, and Compliance has some of the worst synths I've heard in my life. Needless to say, this album has not started off very strong. However, however, from what I'm hearing, it seems like the album does get better in the second half. So what I'm hoping is that the, the stuff that I've heard that's been really bad about this album uh, is following in line with this chart that's right here. The songs that suck are in the very beginning and hopefully the good ones are at the end because I think I heard Killer, Killer Be Killed and I thought it was okay. Um, but yeah, We Are F***ing F***ed is one of the song names. Really? Yeah, so Trucktober, you know how it is. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom. Currently got an average score of a 59, which is actually very promising. As uh, I don't believe that's the lowest score for any Muse album. No, actually, it's one of the higher up scores, I, I guess so. In the last few albums, I don't know. <sighs> Get a deep breath in. The will of the people, the will of the people. Here we go. Trucktober month. First track, Will of the People. You need a truck that's built tough like you. I'm talking the new Ford Thunder. For your kids to be safe, it also comes with crash-proof testing. Ford Thunder can fight against storms, apparently. It's a good car. I'd also like to mention that this album is so distorted that the distortion effects that I've added onto the album have done almost nothing. This entire project is so unbelievably overblown that even I can't make it into a meme. Let's push the emperors into the ocean. Yeah, let's rebel. Yeah, don't need a gun to flirt with devotion. Ooh, yeah. We'll smash your institution to pieces. We need transformation. It is the most empty fucking shit ever. What does it mean? It sounds like generic crap over a car commercial. Unlock your daughters. Excuse me? That suspect right there. Get him, boys. Get him. Hey, 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 let me get Hey, hey, chill, chill. I, I don't know why the cops always mistake me for the one who's guilty. I mean, I'm always the one who calls them, and then they're always the one who attack me. But yeah, the song sucks ass. What a load of crap, dude. Oh my god, please end. Please. <laughs> Legacy says this song's fucking amazing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Legacy? I could see where you're coming from for like a lot of the shit that you like, but this? Let's throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's, that's... Yeah, that's a likable statement. I love seeing Nightbot type the thunder thing, dude. I'm so happy I did that. <sighs> well, the people is fucking terrible. It oh. is possibly the worst Muse song I've ever heard, as I've made fun of this band for sounding like car commercial garbage before. But never did I think they'd go all balls to the wall. Car commercial, Trucktober, generic ass lyric bullshit. This song is basically People of the Pride Part 2 with its generic ass, let's rise against the system, about no fucking system, with no specifics whatsoever, with the most generic riff of all time. I'm going to be stealing Muse's soul. This is possibly the only time I'm going to be doing this, but I need it, because this song is a soul stealer. <laughs> Next song is the other dog shit single they released called Compliance, which sounds like it was fucking constructed in 2005 with the worst synths I've ever heard. Oh. 
Dude, dude, look at this album cover. I'm sorry, but like, look at this album cover. It's like the most epic shit I've ever seen. Like, it's such a cool album cover. You could have made an album that actually felt like large and grand, but instead, this is the most awful fucking pop rock alternative landscape sound I've ever heard in my fucking life. And this is the album cover. What a fucking joke, dude. Compliance, you'll feel no pain, no more defiance. Fall into line, do as you're told. No choice fatigue, your blood is running cold. We lose control, the world will fall apart. Love of your life will mend your broken heart. Life lived in fear, you need protection. You're all alone, too much rejection. We have what you need, just reach out and touch. We can save you, we just need your compliance. You've bitten off more than you can chew. You're running scared, you'll run into our arms. Come join our clique, we'll keep you safe from harm. Our toy soldier, you'll do our dirty work. Stay loyal to us, we'll take away the- It's like, oh, let's make a song about follow, falling in line, but let's not make- let's, let's not make it, you know, distinct in any way. Let's literally boil it down to the most generic points possible and put it out as the most, like, washed out possible crap. Whole song about give up yourself to us with the most annoying synths ever sounding ridiculously dated and like it can't pick a tone. It is gross. It's a red headphones. Dog. I hate it. I, I genuinely think that this is terrible and it's the obnoxious type of catchy as well. I am 14 in this deep. <laughs> I love you, Jeremy. Yeah, this is terrible. This is really bad. But hopefully the worst of it is over. Those are, I believe, the two lowest rated tracks of this album. Rightfully so. Yes, they are. It only goes up from here with the next song, Liberation. I wonder what Liberation's going to be about. Maybe it's going to be about coming together as one. The song, let's all come together to fight the machine, the system, the thing, the will of the people of the pride. People on the left, people on the right. Okay, then. Okay. No. You're kidding me. Queen? Really? Oh my god, man. The will of the people, <laughs> thanks for the one. Why? Are you fucking serious? While Will of the People is not as essential as their 2000s classics, it's a quick, satisfying burst of Muse essentials that cleverly forgoes the hits compilation graveyard in favor of fresh material that honors both their evolution and dedicated fan base. This is an album on which Muse mastered their wider range of future rock and pop sonics they've been toying with for the past decade and refine and define their current sound as neatly as Black Holes and Revolutions did for their 2000s period. Muse are a blockbuster band, and this is is another box office demo demolishing spectacular it would feel like self-denial not to surrender honestly the end of the world has rarely sounded like so much fun it's an overload of big picture polemic explosive virtuosity and tune rich entertainment certainly takes some unpacking yet it is it takes some unpacking you are shitting me if you nah What's up you guys, it's Bradley from the future here, someone who actually listened to this album multiple times, and I have to tell you um, that, I, that I think it's worth emphasizing that no, this album does not take some unpacking. I got basically everything that you can get from this album on a first listen. Upon returning to it, it was the exact same experience. I earned nothing more from it, which sucks.
It's not fun. It's not fun sitting through this album another time and getting literally nothing else from it. So it's worth mentioning this after that fucking review, saying that there's a lot to unpack. Even for Muse, this is an album of extremes? What? <laughs> Enemy, oh, Enemy, the band ditches the awkward trend chasing of simulation theory? You're bullshitting me. No way. No fucking way did they just say that they get rid of the awkward trend chasing to focus on politicized guitar-oriented brutality. The themes of Muse's songs largely remain the same, but they're enjoying expanding their craft. New records, it's inevitable. That... Nah. Mixed like shit. Bruh. Can't believe these guys are ripping off Panic at, at the Disco. It might be a bad song, but the mix is great. Dude, it is like going for an approach where in order to be grand, it needs to shove it down your throat. It is so overblown for no reason. That's a good start. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's how you start a song right there. Um, yeah, that last song is literal dog shit. Dog. Why is everyone trying to rip off Queen when they don't know the first thing about what makes this kind of music work? You can't just have a nothing fucking song about liberation and then scream. Galileo, 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 with a piano over and expect it to be a fucking hit. Terrible. Trend chasey, soulless garbage. Next we have Won't Stand Down, which already in the first two seconds is, uh, you know, reminding me of a different song, which is a good sign. Act dude, like actually, you need a truck that's built tough like you. I'm talking the new Ford Thunder. It also comes with crash-proof testing. The Ford Thunder is the best car in America. Hey, you Only coming to you locally you in truck timber. Believe uh, these lyrics are for everyone. Only few will understand. I forgot to hit record. Just means that the first 23 minutes of this video are probably going to be in 720p, uh, and then the next probably 40 minutes of this video are going to be in a uh, hundred uh, 1080p. You didn't like this one at first, but it grew on you a lot. Lego Street, I'm happy for you because I do believe you're one of the few people because you've listened to so much music, right? Like I, I see a lot of the times people gaslight themselves into liking something. But I could truly believe Lego she actually enjoys this and genuinely gets enjoyment out of this, and I think that's pretty lit. So people talking shit about Lego she, Lego she is one of the few people brave enough here to actually speak up and say they enjoy this crap. Now I'm of course brave in another way. I'm brave enough to say this shit is actual dog shit, garbage, fucking Imagine Dragons blown out the ass crap that feels soulless with no specifics and just the most generic watered down crap that's ever existed. We are on opposite side of the spectrums, but we are one of the same. Hey. I'm fairly local. I've been around. There's no way you think this song sounds that generic. Okay, let's break this down. So, first thing we hear easy to identify, right? Take on me. Right? Alright. I'm not sure where I've heard that, but I've heard something similar. The sinister aesthetic of this. Imagine Dragon's Believer, the overblown chorus. That's what I think of immediately when it comes to this and the production. Does anyone know exactly what I'm thinking of here with, um... Oh, there's just something, like, I, I swear I've heard something so similar to this. How does this sound like Believer? The maximalist production. Simple as that. What's up, you guys? It's Future Bradley here, so I figured out the exact song I was thinking of. Funny enough, it's not at all what you're thinking it is, because it's actually a song that's ripping off other songs. I'm talking, of course, about Tiptoes by Half Alive, which sounds like a complete and utter Muse ripoff 
That also sounds like a 21 Pilots ripoff. I'm going to play multiple sections that remind me of pieces in this song, as it's also overblown garbage that sounds like it's trying to grab a radio spot. Here it is. Demanding my mind to be set free from wanting the things I don't need. So now I'm on my tiptoes, trying to see past my ego. My heart behind is bleeding. <laughs> Message Man, yes, Message Man was another one. I'm stretch, I'm stretching massively. You know what I'm stretching massively? I'm stretching open the machine massively, and I'm breaking this system, and I'm breaking out of the matrix. <laughs> Please use discretion when you're messing with the Message Man. This is my album of the year. It represents my love for trucks, guns, and private property. Stop being a hater. Why? Ew! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was barely a scream! What the fuck did I just hear? Oh, sit down! Yeah, I've heard enough. This song is garbage. It is one of the best songs on this album, though. I will give it that. Why? Because the dark aesthetic is actually going for something a little bit cool. Now, I think the execution's dog shit. I think it doesn't understand that these riffs don't fully build the atmosphere that it wants it to build. Feeling super clean and polished. And that's one of the reasons the scream fails, in my opinion, as well. Everything is so... It has to be clean and polished, but at the same time, overcompressed. I, I feel like... I, I just feel like it's an aesthetic nightmare. I personally hate it. I'd give it a red headphones, but you know what? Dog. If you're into this tacky garbage... I can see your point. For me, though, no. All right, next. Ghosts, how can I move on? If you or a loved one has recently been diagnosed with mesothelioma, you are possibly compensated for compensation. You are possibly eligible to, for, yeah. I love the government and Pfizer. How's my back? It's doing okay. I've been going to the chiropractor. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Dude, what the fuck is this? Yes, you don't need your sleeping pills anymore. Dude, this is made at like, dude. This is this is what they're making at the late stage of their career. This guy is 44 years old. Has been making music what for for multiple decades, and this piano fucking love struck bullshit is is the result of that. Seriously, 1999, 1998 is when they started when they started releasing shit, and this this is where we've come. Twenty something years later. Yeah, like, like, borderline Louis Capaldi music, dude. This shit... What the fuck? Brad, this song is about my wife leaving me and taking my truck, the truck specifically. My mind drifts to where I found you. I Look, if this is a concept album, I guess this is the moment where the character is, like, giving a thing about how he met his love. Which I, I don't, I don't get. You make me feel like it's Halloween. Next song. Yeah, sure, 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 yeah. You got me checking my mirror, you make me feel like I'm on the run. Are you the poison? Are you the cure? What the fuck am I listening to? Why? Why is this a thing on this album? On this, on this album, on this large, epic, grand political statement, this is a song on the album. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's not. Let's not listen to this one. Uh, let's just skip around. A cool little drum fill outro, I guess. That was one of the most tasteless songs I've ever heard. It is so tacky and unaware of itself, I I give up. I'm done. No. Dog. Bruh. What is this album about, exactly? Is Is it about rebelling against the system in some way? What the fuck is this? What the fuck did I just listen to? You know what? I don't care. Because the next song is Killer Be Killed. And I remember it actually being good. I'm not shitting you. I actually remember this being a good song. So, maybe this last leg is actually going to be tolerable. See what I mean? A little bit better. I told you. See, something switches here. Not the fucking snare crap. I would like to retract my previous statement. I was under um, heavy drugs at the time. My um, my hand was off the controller uh, while I, I got that death. No, the second half of this song is okay. The, the first half sucks ass, but the second half is good. That's what I remember. Matthew, that's great. Guys, I swear the second half is okay, all right? I mean, still up to this point, it's the best track. I mean, that wasn't really a hard title to gain, but, you know, it can be redeemed, trust me. See, okay, that kind of sounds nice. Yeah, I'm telling you, it gets a little bit better. See, I told you! Alright, I think I've heard enough. Why the snare? The program snare, dude! Look. Killer Be Killed is the best song on this album. No one's doubting that, okay? It's got the best structure by far. It has some moments that actually slap. Some of the electronics actually kind of work in here, but it still sucks ass. It's a low shrug because I'm giving it just a little bit of wiggle room because I do think that the structure is improving and this kind of shows where this album could have maybe gone. But it's it just feels like too little too late at this point. Why up to this point in the album is is this song showing up as if the last leg didn't just happen? It, it, it's the same sort of generic will of the people crap in the lyrics, but I still think that it's better and it's a step in the right direction. That is worth something. Like a 4 out of 10. Next. Verona. Short for coronavirus. Kiss or be kissed. Is that a song clipping? I feel like I hear it clipping in the back. T-Mobile believes in making sure everyone can get free wireless. Our mission is to get mobile to as many people as possible. Now for an extra $10 a month, you could send someone in Africa a phone. Right. 
Discord, Discord call ringtone type beat. I swear to you, Origin of Symmetry is fantastic. Absolution. No, Muse were never good. I've heard Origin of Symmetry. It's like a 6 out of 10. Which is positive, but still, they were never good. Once the, the flashiness is gone, you just see what's there, and it's nothing. Um, that song was dog shit. It's a red headphones. Dog One of the more listenable. I'd give it like a 30 out of 100, but still a waste of time. All right, next we have Euphoria! The supermassive black hole bottom jeans. <laughs> Sonic type guitar. My life is like a video game. Oh, sweet mother of God. There is no heartbeat to this shit, dude. I'd rather listen to the old washing machine in my apartment that sounded like someone getting fisted over listening to this. Literally so boring. Washing machines shouldn't sound like that. I used to do... <laughs> I used to piss off Tina because the sound of it's like... So I would just like move my fist back and forth <laughs> in front of her and she'd be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the next song, yeah, Euphoria is about as barren and as pointless as Will of the People, but it's about Euphoria and the feeling of Euphoria and my god, kill me. Dog. Pseudopuff says, I'm curious, is there a band you could recommend that feels like Muse but is genuinely good? Yeah, <laughs> Radiohead. <laughs> Listen to the Flaming Lips if you want some music that actually feels like it was written by human beings and not by AI-generated fucking labels. There you go. That's what I'm interested in right now. I'm going through the entire Flaming Lips discography. Even their early albums, like, that shit isn't even the most, like, grand or incredible music in the world, but it sounds human, and that's what I really like about it. It, it gives this, like, punkish feeling of just, like, going to a concert and seeing these, like, drug-ridden hippies just making experimental shit. I like that. We are fucking fucked. The name of this song. More like the Laming Lips. Wow. Bars. This riff is kind of nice. The rock band of our generation, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This this is this is as good as it gets. Kill me, dude. Yeah, I don't think this is a good song, you know? I'm actually just going to stop it here. I'm going to give it a red headphones. If I have to listen to this chorus again. Uh, I'm gonna explode. Now, I'm recently, or I'm considering recording soon for my video of awkward swearing in music. Um, and I think I have a new example. We Are Fucking Fucked is the perfect example of awkward profanity in music, as this is fucking horrendous. We are getting fucked? Red Headphones' worst song of the album, completely unlistenable. Now listen, I hate this album. You're like, Bradley, why, do, why can't you stop bitching about this music? Because Muse is everything wrong about rock music. They have been for a while, but it just keeps getting worse. The last album was somewhat listenable. This is possibly their worst form I've ever seen them in. It feels like they've taken everything that doesn't work about their music in the past and have combined it into an amalgamation of garbage. I think this album is horrendous. I think it is possibly one of the worst, definitely in the top five worst albums for me this whole year. I think every song is tacky. I think that they sound like they haven't matured a day in 20 years. Um, yeah, I'm going to add up the score. I'm going to give you guys what I think this album is on average, and uh, we're just going to leave it at that. Okay, I am feeling a solid one on this album. It is a solid one. Yeah, 
I'm never returning to this. I'm never coming back to this. Uh, and uh, hopefully they improve with the next project. Okay. Thank you for this. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you too, Lego She. Just know that, you know, you're still the GOAT. There's a reason you're a mod and other people aren't. All right? It's that simple.